Thank you, baby. What's going on? We're back. Two Tone Sports. Another mock draft review. We got Daniel Jeremiah's 2.0. All right. In the title, Tyree Wilson goes before Will Anderson. Lions take a QB. Ho, brother. Oh, boy. This one, this could be a little... This could be a little, uh, a little sketchy, Daniel. So, like I said, Two Tone Sports is back. Two Tone Corporate, Two Tone Professional over here. Had to take over for a little bit. Work got a little busy, so that's why you did not see the daily uploads. Um, from here on out, I should be doing at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I will probably move my schedule towards Monday, Wednesday, probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, um, moving forward, just because getting this much content out for you guys is rough. I do have a job. I do work a nine to five job. I also commute, so we'll discuss that later on, but Let's get into this one. Two-tone sports here. We got a Daniel Jeremiah mock draft review 2.0. I have not seen this. You guys are going to watch it with me. You guys are going to react with me. So let's get into it. Jalen Carter goes number one. Okay. I'm not projecting trades in the mock draft this early in the offseason, but I'll be surprised if the Bears end up holding on to the number one overall pick. So would I. I don't really think the Bears will hold on to this pick. That being said, I don't think they'll move down beyond the range of one of the top defensive players. To me, that tells me he will move down to either, or sorry, the Bears will move down to either four or five. Okay, that's what that tells me. You got Bryce Young going to Houston. Uh, Young is the best quarterback in this class. I think he'll fit beautifully with the Texans as they try to work their way up in the AFC South. Whoa. All right. First edge rusher off the board. We saw this in the title. Over Will Anderson Jr.? No way. Okay. There's a lot of love for Wilson around the league. His combination of size, length, and production has teams very intrigued. I get it. The dude's 6'6". If Anderson wasn't in this draft, this kid would be getting more hype because of Anderson. He's not also Carter. Just burnt the shit out of myself with that. My God. But Tyree Wilson is a good pick. I don't, like I said, I don't know if Oh, wow. I don't know if we're taking Will Anderson. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm taking Wilson over Anderson, but I also get it. I'm also not totally sold on Will Anderson. I really am not. I don't know why. I do like Tyree Wilson. I do like Miles Murphy. I mean, it's hard to turn down 6'6 six, six and Tyree Wilson. I just am not totally sold on Anderson. I don't know what it is. You guys are going to call me crazy, but I don't know what it is. Ooh. CJ Stroud to the Colts. Okay. So, the Colts need to turn the page on their recent approach to the game's most important position. Cycling through veteran arms, Stroud will be a great fit with new head coach Shane Steichen in Indy. I think this is a great fit. This was ideal for both situation and player. Um, I just think they have a pretty good offense built around them, and I don't think there's as many holes as you would think for this team for them picking number four. What a dream! What a dream for Seattle. Oh, man, my my camera's almost fallen over. What a dream for Seattle. Will Anderson at five. 
yes, this would indeed be a steal for the Seahawks. Anderson teams up with Uchenna Nwosu to give two explosive edge rushers. You're telling me you're going to get Will Anderson for trading Russell Wilson at five. What a laughing stock this would be to Denver. What a laughing stock this would be. That automatically puts Seattle at an A plus draft. I gotta say it. Or at least an A draft. This is an A plus pick. Lions getting Miles Murphy. Aiden Hutchinson was a home run pick last year, and fellow rookie James Houston was very productive in limited playing time. Murphy would give the Lions three outstanding young edge rushers. I agree. This is a great fit for him. I really like it. I don't want to say screw your biggest need because I don't think it's your biggest need. I think they need a corner. They need a linebacker. You can't draft a linebacker at six. I don't think any of them are good enough. You can draft a corner at six, but reality, it's deep. If you can get that other edge rusher in Miles Murphy to pair with Hutchinson, what a move. What a move. This would be very, very good for years to come. And we all see what can happen in a league with dominant defensive line. Will Levis to the Las Vegas Raiders. The picture will be clear after we get through the quarterback carousel in free agency. But as of now, the Raiders need someone at the position. Levis has incredible tools. He has incredible tools. He makes a little bit of mistakes on his decision making and maybe some of his reads. But everything is there. His size is there. Everything is there. I think it's a good pick for the Raiders. I normally have Tyree Wilson going here, but as we've seen in this mock draft, he goes a little earlier. We got Lucas Van Ness going eight to the Falcons. I expect Van Ness to put on a show at the NFL Scouting Combine. He'll start capturing a lot of attention after he tests in Indianapolis. We all expect this kid to put on a show. He's an athletic freak. I love it. Um... Falcons need an edge rusher. This is a really good pick. I think he's going to fly up people's boards at the Combine. Keep an eye on him. Whoa, interesting. Okay. For this mock, I am assuming the Panthers do not trade up to land a QB. Instead, go to the veteran position. Skronsky can slide inside to play guard in Carolina, teaming up with Akeem Aquanu to give the Panthers... Two building blocks for the offensive line. New co new head coach Frank Wright, okay, knows the impact of investing heavily in the line of scrimmage, having spent time on the Eagles staff before he left for Indianapolis. This is a safe pick. At number nine for the Panthers, you're at QB, you're really looking at Anthony Richardson, okay? You're sitting there in your head. Am I taking a project at nine? Yeah, he's an athletic freak. Or do I give, go the safe route? No matter who I have at QB, let's build up this line. And that answer is you're going the safe route. Realistically, you bring Skaronsky in. You would love for him to be your tackle. If it doesn't work, the kid's an automatic starting guard. Automatic. It's a safe pick. It's the right pick. I agree. Eagles going Devon Witherspoon, an edge rusher wouldn't surprise me here, but I think Witherspoon is the best corner in the draft. He reminds me of former Eagles pro bowler Asante Samuel. Um, Yeah, at this point you're taking best available of either corner or edge. Uh, I agree with that. I'm still not sold that he's the best corner in the draft. I still like Christian Gonzalez, but yeah. Tennessee Titans going Paris Johnson Jr. I'm going to say this is pretty much a lock because Taylor Lewan was released. Okay. Given the uncertainty about Taylor Lewan, he was released, so there's no uncertainty anymore. Tennessee's offensive line must be addressed. Okay. Right here, editor update, he was released. Johnson needs to get a bit stronger, but he's an outstanding athlete. I really, 
really think this is the move they make. And that's the case. I love the move. Houston got their QB. Now they got the receiver, Jordan Addison. I like this as well. The selection of Addison along with the return of John Mechie would give the receiving core a huge boost. Let's not remind you the speed that this would be in the receiving core. And Addison's route tree is ridiculous for just entering the NFL. Like the pick, like the pairing. Really like this pick. My allergies are killing me. Jets going Broderick Jones. GM Joe Douglas continues to invest in the offensive line. The Jets have been crushed by injuries up front, so it's imperative that they continue to bolster the unit. Jones has tremendous upside. He's lengthy. The dude is big. He's strong at the point of attack. They need a tackle. You can't rely on Becton. I really, really like this pick. Big Bill going Christian Gonzalez at 14. Bill Belichick nabs height, weight, and speed corner who can play the ball. I think Gonzalez, in my eyes, is the best all-around corner. That's what I view him. I love him the most. Yeah, I am an Oregon fan, but I genuinely think he's the best. Interesting. Packers going Dalton Kincaid. Okay. Kincaid is one of my favorite players in the draft. I think he's the most dynamic pass catching tight end in the draft. I agree with this. I don't necessarily know if he is the best all around tight end. I it, all around tight end. I have Mayer and Probably Darnell Washington over him strictly for size. Like, yeah. Washington Commanders, Joey Porter. This is a great fit. It's a must need for the Commanders. Porter's going to come in and play with that chip. Washington's rocker roster has a lot of needs to address, including cornerback. Porter Jr.'s value at number 16 is too good to pass up. I honestly have Gonzalez, Porter, and then Witherspoon. That's my eyes. This is interesting. Throwing all right at 17. Some people have him late in the first, early second. I like it. Right... Writes a plug-and-play right tackle for an offensive line that needs to be overhauled to protect last year's first-round pick, Kenny Pickett. This is the move they need to make. I genuinely think their first-round pick needs to be an offensive lineman no matter what. But I get why you wouldn't take Darnell right here because of value, but I think he should go here. I don't think this is really a reach for Darnell Wright. I really don't. I think this is a need for the team, and I think it's a really good fit. They need to get up and get in the trenches and get that old Pittsburgh Steelers football back, and we win every single game in the trenches, and we're going to make you think about it every single play. This is interesting. Anthony Richardson to Detroit. Lions have the perfect situation for Richardson as he enters the league. He could sit behind golf for at least a year and then provide the rewards that come from building a team around a QB playing on his rookie contract. This kid, I love. I just want him to go to a team that can just develop him correctly. He's athletically a freak. I really love this. Great, great spot for him to go to Detroit. I agree with this 100%. The Bucks need to figure out what they're going to do at QB in the wake of Tom Brady's retirement, but Robinson will take pressure off of whoever in the center. I think they have bigger needs. They have a lot of defensive players going to free agency. They have much bigger needs than this. 
much. Seattle adds another weapon to complement Tyler Lockett and Metcalf. Smith Najigba is a pure route runner and will be a high volume target. This is a really cool pick to pair with those two. Lockett's getting a little bit older. I mean, having those three in the game constantly is huge. This would be such a cool matchup. Matchup nightmare for other teams. This is interesting. I'm going to tell you why I like this and why I don't. And as a Chargers fan, I'll tell you why. All right, so Chargers 21, go Quinton Johnson. Speed on the outside has been missing element for the Chargers. Johnson's going to fill that need. I agree. So why I like it. The speed-wise, the dude's a freak after the catch, and you still get size with him, okay? Why I don't like it. In my eyes, he's too similar to Mike Williams. It's not a negative of having two Mike Williams. I get it. He's more speed-wise than the 50-50 ball than Williams, but if he's there, you have to take him. I totally agree with this. But, yeah. I don't also I also need to see free agency, what we lose, what we get. I know we're in a little bit of a cap issue. So this could not be the biggest need. I know if he's there value wise, yeah, you should take him, but that's how I'm leaving it. Brian Branch, the versatile safety or corner, whatever you want to label him as. Ozzie Newsom is still in the building in Alabama players will always be coveted by the Ravens. Baltimore will value Branch's versatility and playmaking ability. This kid could be a slot corner. You can line him out outside, even though he is a little small. You could put him over the nickel. You could put him over top. I mean, the kid's a short tackler for not being the biggest kid, too. I think it's a great fit. Ravens will know how to use him. I love it. Interesting. Deontay Banks. Banks has good size, and I think you'll see a stock rise as the evaluation process unfolds. The cornerback is physical and tough. I do agree with this, but but I think people are also going to see Keely Rigo shoot up a little bit as well. He's got great size, great speed. I know he was turned around a little bit in college, but you got to get the kid more disciplined, and he'll be fine. But Deontay Banks is definitely a player to watch when it comes to the Combine. All right, Jacksonville Jaguars get an awesome pick in Brian Brees. Brees battled through adversity at Clemson. I believe the former number one overall recruit, best football is still ahead of him. I believe he had this in a previous mock. Um, I totally agree with him. His best football is ahead of him. This is an awesome pick for the Jags. This kid, if he can stay healthy, is going to be disruptive. Jalen Hyatt to the Giants. Giants are desperate from some explosiveness at receiver. Hyatt's going to prove that. Hyatt has like what, like 18 yards per catch or something this past year. Dude's a deep ball. Jones has got the arm. If they can come to an agreement on Jones. But, man, this kid's got the speed. I really want to see him test, too. Interesting. Keon White. White has inside-outside versatility, and I think he'll be one of the stars of the next week's combine. I don't disagree here. And we all know how Dallas views those, vers those versatile linemen slash possibly dropping in coverage. I mean, man, if they can get their hands on another Micah Parsons, I know that's a little ridiculous to say, but what a dream. Love Osiris Torrance to the Bills. Buffalo can use some upgrades in the front of Josh Allen. Bills must continue to protect their most valuable asset by steadily investing in the old line. Torrance will also help this offense in the ground game. Love this. Osiris Torrance is a beast. Very good in run blocking. Very good in pass blocking. He's going to go to Buffalo, and he's really going to shore up that offensive line. I love this. you got to keep... You got to keep those sirens up. Bengals getting Michael Mayer. I understand this. I also think maybe at this spot I get it for value, but I think Darnell Washington may be a better pick, better pick because they have offensive line problems, and you're going to put Washington in there at like 6'6 six, six or 6'8, six, and he's going to be another tackle for you because he can block pretty well. I think that may be a better option. Not that Michael Mayer can't block, but he's not 
in the blocking level that Darnell Washington is. I like this. So with Hayden Hurts headed to free agency, America step right into the lineup and win contested catches for the Bengals. I like it. I like it for an offensive wise. Blocking wise, yeah. Value wise, I like it. New Orleans Saints just finished up Mardi Gras. Zay Flowers is going to go. Zay Flowers is one of the most enjoyable players to study in this year's class. He'd be a lock for the top 15 if he were two inches taller. I mean, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. How many of us wish we were like two inches taller? I'll take it if I can get it. But Zay Flowers, kid is nasty with the ball in his hands. Nasty. It's got some nice, quick little routes. I think it's a really good fit. Is it their biggest need? Eh, got to see how free agent full, oh, folds out. Michael Thomas is still there, but I like the pick. We got the Eagles, Felix and Duke Uzama. The way the Eagles do business, I'd be shocked if they left the first round at all without an offensive or defensive lineman. I agree. I agree. We know how they value their rotational pass rushers, rotational D-line. I think this is a really good pick, and I think it's really good value. Talking about another really, really good value, Kansas City Chiefs, Nolan Smith. Smith is an outstanding athlete who reminds me a little bit of Hassan Reddick when he was coming out of Temple. Smith would get a lot of pass rush opportunities in KC thanks to the Patrick Mahomes-led offense. Forget that. At 31, Nolan Smith, this is very, very good value. Um, other than that, they can go... Can't go wrong going an offensive lineman. Can't go wrong going corner. Um, and honestly, they can't go wrong going edge. I do really, really like this draft. Um, always love Daniel Jeremiah's drafts. I think he's, you know, he keeps it short and sweet. And he's normally, like, pretty spot on with his thought processes. So, shout out to you, Daniel Jeremiah. Shout out to NFL. So, um... Guys, like I said, it's two-tone sports here. Another mock draft review. If you like this one, hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Showing love is free on YouTube. And just wanted to say thanks for watching.